Hey everyone, my name is Olinga, and today I'm going to be talking about my minimal desk setup and some clean accessories that I think are pretty useful. I like to keep it clean with effective cable management and not many things on my desk. If you're into clean desk setups and tech, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be linking all of the products in the description below if you want to create the same desk setup yourself. Let's get into it. For the desk itself, I have gone with the Carlby worktop from IKEA, which is actually a kitchen bench top. It is long and sturdy enough to act as a desktop as it is made from solid wood, so it won't bend over time due to the weight on the desk. It gives a clean and minimal look to the overall space and I like it a lot. The laptop that has been powering my desk setup is a 14 inch MacBook Pro, which was released in 2021. I've made plenty of videos on this powerhouse of a device, so I won't talk too much on how great it is. The monitor that I've been using is a Dell UltraSharp U2720Q, which is a 27 inch 4K monitor. It has a USB-C power delivery as well as a USB-C hub. This has been useful as I'm able to charge or connect any of my accessories to the MacBook Pro through the monitor. The screen is very sharp and the colors are accurate for my video editing needs. Overall, it is a pretty good monitor for the price. The speakers that I've been using for this setup is the Vonix SMN 30W 3-inch studio speakers. These are a pair of professional quality speakers. They deliver a good amount of bass and the mids and high frequencies are very clear. The desk mat that I've been using is from Grovemade. I've been using the medium sized desk mat as I need it to fit my keyboard, mouse and trackpad. I like it as it provides a clean visual space for the desk accessories to sit on. It also protects my desk from any scratches the aluminium keyboard or mouse might create. The keyboard that I've been using is the Keychron Q1, which is a 75% mechanical keyboard. It has been great for my needs as it has a full function row that is Mac specific. I've also modded this keyboard to suit my preferences in terms of sound and typing feel. The mouse that I've been using for a few years now is the Logitech MX Master 3. This mouse has been very ergonomic and I've never felt wrist fatigue while using this mouse. I've been using the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD to edit all of my videos. It has enough room to store my Final Cut Pro libraries as well as completed projects. The read and write speeds have been fast enough for my creative needs and I have no negatives to talk about here. I would highly recommend getting it if you are into creating videos or just storing large files. The Fafine mic is a great budget option. It has a pleasant appearance and lighting effect to look at. But what matters most to a microphone is that it also has a pleasant audio file to hear. When it comes to sound quality, an unoffensive tone is the most precise description of the Ampler Game A8. It is made to work right out of the box, in addition to the physical absorption of the shock mount. The frequencies below 200Hz are less sensitive. It is aesthetically pleasing and I like the white colour. I would recommend it to anyone who needs a budget mic for any creative needs. Overall, I've really enjoyed using this minimal desk setup. The lack of clutter and organization has really allowed me to stay productive and focused. If you are thinking of creating a new desk setup, consider what you're going to use it for and what you actually really need. I see a lot of desk setups online that have many things that seem very aesthetically pleasing, but are just unnecessary. I've kept the desk setup very minimal and have really used the things that I really need, like a laptop, a monitor, and some speakers. Anyway, if you really enjoyed this video or learned something in the process, consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one. Peace.